Moving on to another feature that can be used for tracing, we have tracing layers. These allow you to clone or photo paint, which enables your brushes to automatically sample colors from an image. First, we'll need to import an image to trace. I can choose File Import Image or drag and drop from outside of Rebel, even from a web browser. I'll continue using the skull image. The image opens as a new layer. To designate it as a tracing layer, click on the T in the Layers panel. Now any layers you create will sample color from the tracing layer, no matter whether they are above or below it. I'll reduce the opacity of the tracing layer to make it easier to see my brush strokes. Then I'll paint over the skull, trying to fill in specific colors and shapes. For example, I will paint only over the eye sockets to fill those with black. I can also paint around the edges to fill in the background a bit. You can customize the tracing color sample size and the color preferences. This will apply an area averaging to the sampled pixels. For a refresher on how this works, see the lesson about sampling color. As you work, you may want to periodically hide the tracing layer so you can see your progress. After painting over the entire skull, I have a copy of it in a different style. I can use different media to get a different style. For example, I could have painted this with watercolor instead. By default, the tracing layer is locked, but you can paint on it if you like by unlocking it. In order to stop tracing, disable the T button or unlock and delete the layer if it is no longer needed. Because tracing layers appear in your layers panel, they can be saved with individual compositions. Though to preserve the layer as a tracing layer, you'll need to choose Reb for the file format. If you want more of a straight cloner that copies both the color and the detail, then you may want to use the clone tool instead. See my lesson about that.